CDs first became available in the 1950s, but did not become popular on the high street until the 1980s, becoming the must-have item for music lovers to listen to their favourite artists. CDs rapidly took over the sales of the once popular cassette tape, the previous must-have way that fans would listen to their favourite songs. CD sales became so strong that from 2000 onwards, cassette tapes have become almost extinct from high street shelves due to the huge advantages that CDs have to offer. The advantages being that they are easy to use with the click of a button and music listeners are able to select the tracks they want to listen to without having to fast forward and rewind, having to guess when to stop to play the track of their choice, which in time would soon wear out the tape. With advances in new technology, CDs could also be played in cars new to the market and the development of new hi-fi systems meant the sound quality in CDs could be improved. With the phenomenon of the CD and the rapid progression in technology and the explosion of the internet, it was only a... The pie chart here shows the volume of music acquired in the US in the years 2006-2007. As we can see in 2007, Digital downloading via the internet had become the most popular way for people to purchase the music they wanted to listen to. Whilst CD sales were still high, it is clear to see that a decline in CD sales would be imminent, with sales falling in just one year. Notice one section that makes up the pie chart, pirate downloading. Although though piracy has gone... Due to the such a decline in physical sales and the hit of the recession in 2008, High Street store HMV has had to close many of its stores, announcing only in January 2011 the closure of 60 stores nationwide. The British record music industry released information that showed that physical album sales fell by 7% in 2010, with only 119.9 million sales. In HMV alone, Christmas sales were down by 10% due to a lack of spending and also some pointed to the adverse weather conditions consumers face in the weeks running up to Christmas, which for retailers is the busiest period in the retail calendar. I put together my own questionnaire to find out from people I know how they purchase the music that they listen to and if or how often they buy physical copies of CDs. The range of ages of the people I asked was between 13 to 80. The average number of people asked aged between 21 to 24, used pirate download sites on their computers to, to transfer their music straight onto their MP3 players, whereas older generations preferred to buy the CD version of an album from the shelves of a high street store or supermarket. The results of the question are, are not surprising, as people aged between 30 to 40 are most likely to be computer literate, with computers being used in everyday life and most certainly in the workplace so it's easy for them to access the internet and learning how to download on a computer will come with no difficulty. The fact that a lot of young people are illegally downloading music is not a shock result because even though this is a criminal offence, it's so easy to do and with billions of people across the world committing this crime, it's a big scale operation in which prosecutors have to think long and hard to find a way to stop piracy and so far only a few of offenders have been caught but the punishment of a fine or a loss of connection to the internet has not deterred illegal site users at this current moment in time. Many artists have become actively involved when releasing new material. To increase their album sales, they are frequently using unorthodox methods. Lady Gaga, for example, recently offered fans of her music, a deluxe package of the Fame Monster album, including exclusive artwork and a lock of her hair. In 2007, British band Radiohead created a marketing concept to help beat piracy. Fans of the band were given the opportunity to download their new album, In Rainbows, from their official website for a price they thought the album was worth. Or they could choose not to pay anything at all. This proved to be a perceptive move by the band, which took a huge gamble. The download 